Welcome back, and in this session I'm going to show you how to take a beat, slice it up, and then put it in a sampler and play it and rearrange it, just like you would with a Rex loop. So here we have a beat. First thing I'm going to do is slice it up. Now you need to be in grid mode, which is up here, and then you want to choose the grid that you want to slice it to. You could go to 16th. I think 8th is going to work, so if we go to 8th again, good luck about right you can see them falling on the grid there as a cool easy way to do it you just go into edit you separate clip on the grid and you say zero milliseconds is pre-separate amount and you see now it's all broken up into different bits so if I play that there's our different bits now the next thing you want to do I'm just gonna zoom out slightly I'm gonna go to track new go to stereo and I want to go to an instrument track and we to make sure we can see our inserts and we go to here and we choose the structure free that comes with Pro Tools. Now the first thing you want to do is you want to right mouse click here and you want to remove that patch. Then the next thing you want to do is you want to select that first clip and then hold down your shift key and then mark them all. Then when that hand appears just press down your mouse key and drag it and drop it into structure. And then there are all the parts have come in. Now then you decide where you want to put it on the keyboard, because you're going to play it from a keyboard in a moment. And I want to play it from C3, and I only want it to play on the white notes, and I press OK. You can see here now. There they are, if I get my keyboard. And I'm playing across the keyboard, you can see they're there. The next thing I want to do as well is first I want to make that patch sound like the original loop so I can move it around. So first I'm going to just call that, let's call it loop, loopy, go. Yeah. Now the next thing that you need to do is we do your MIDI keyboard connected, you want to go to event, event operations and step input. You want to make sure you've chosen the right there, it's called instrument one at the moment, so I'm going to just call that beat. There we go, beat. In it comes, and then all you need to do is literally play every key on your keyboard once with step input. There we go. In fact, we didn't need that last one there, so we can just mark that there with the command and E and delete that out. And then we have our partner. Let's play that and mute the original. Now that's not playing this anymore, that's playing the samples that are sliced. Now what makes it really cool then, is we can then bring up our MIDI window here, or we can actually just drop that instead and double click, and there it is appearing at the bottom there. Now these, as you can see, are all the parts we played in in step time, and if we play it again, If you want to pick that up there, make sure you click off it first because they're all selected when you first open them. We play that now. And we could just keep going and playing those in different ways. Pick that up. Put a snare there and put the other one there. Double the snare up. So you can see very quickly. Now, because it's MIDI as well now, if we then go in here and start changing the tempo. very fast now the great thing as well is we can then go to structure as well and start to edit it change put a filter on it
and the sky is the limits. So there we are. That's how you take an audio clip, you slice it up, you put it into structure free, and then you can start messing around with it and becoming a real beat guru with it. Thanks for watching.